Alright, I haven't made a video about one of the new cards that came out in quite some time. But this new Noble Knights card that's coming out is so good that it absolutely deserves some mention about it. Uh, if you haven't heard, there's this new Noble Knights card called... Some really crazy name. Queen of the Noble Arms. Let's see if I can pronounce that. Gwenhafar? Gwenhafar? That has to be some kind of typo. That's crazy. Anyways, it's a spellcaster, light, uh, level 2, 300 attack, 300 defense. You can target one noble knight monster you control. Equip this card from your hand or graveyard to that target. You can only use the effect of weird name, Queen of Noble Arms, once per turn. The equipped monster gains 300 attack. Apply the appropriate effect depending on the attribute of the equipped monster. Light. If the equipped monster would be destroyed by a card effect, you can destroy this card instead. Dark. If the equipped monster battles an opponent's monster at the start of the damage step, you can destroy that monster, then destroy this card. Wow, that's good. Uh, basically, some of the Noble Knight cards like turn into Dark types when they're equipped with the cards, so they'll usually get the second effect, but some of them don't, so they'll get the light effect. Both of which are pretty good, but I think the dark one's probably better, because you can just pop any card you want with that, which is pretty great. First one's still pretty good too, it's just some blanket monster uh, protection. But what really makes this card great is it can be attached to a Noble Knight's card from the hand or the graveyard, and it allows the Noble Knights to gain their effects. Usually Noble Knights, as they are right now without this card, they're not half bad, but they're not really that great either because they're reliant on equipped spell cards. And equipped spell cards are terrible. Even if the cards they have for them from the Noble Knight archetype themselves are not half bad, a deck that revolves around using equipped cards is just doomed to fail because you need two cards in order to activate one effect and usually the effects aren't really all that great and it's so easily stopped with Book of the Moon like that Book of the Moon just destroys their deck and or if you just uh, destroy one of their cards and they have no monsters in the field all their uh, spells I mean all their equipped cards go to the grave and once all the equipped cards go to the grave even if they can reattach themselves that's it. You basically just won against them because there's no coming back from that. Unless you're playing against someone who's really... Who's, who's not really playing a high tier deck. So with this card though, it can attach itself from the grave. It's like an equip spell card that can attach from the grave. And that's exactly what Noble Knights needed to be competitive. Because some of the Noble Knights do have really good effects. And this will allow them to activate them as soon as they come out like a normal monster. Except their effects were kind of uh, balanced out by it having to be activated with an equip spell card. And with this, even if you can only use it once per turn, that still like guarantees you can use at least one of your monster's uh, effects each turn because of this card alone. And it's real easy to add, I mean, send to the graveyard, plus it's light type, and there's so much support for light type monsters. But basically, just a... shoot, what's the name of it? the card that can send it straight from the deck to the grave. There's actually a couple that can do that really easily. That's actually like no problem at all. You send this card to the grave and you're set. It's kind of like sending a hornet to the grave in Insector decks. Once you get that in the grave, you're pretty much set. This is going to be the Insector for... No, not Insector. It's going to be the Hornet of the Noble Knight cards. So Noble Knight's definitely going to go up in tier because of this one card. So one card right here is going to make them great. I can, yeah, it's so good. Because anything that allows you to play with your graveyard really gives you an advantage. Just look at uh, Dragon Rulers, or to some extent, actually not really. There's Dragon Rulers are good because you can basically just play with your grave. And then Spellbooks were good because of the extra draw phase and the like way to choose how to deal with any situation you wanted at any given point. And then Mermails are good just because they are so consistent with every hand you get. And this will give them consistency to activate their effects every turn. And their effects are actually not half bad. And the only reason, like, they were balanced out by having a quick card, like I already explained before. So anyways, that's the new Noble Knight card. And, let's see. There's something else I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember. Oh, I remember. Okay, so... Uh, some of you may know, or might, or not all of you do, I have another YouTube channel where I make, uh, basically videos like the story of Gigabyte, or 
the origin of the ghost tricks, you know, the videos that actually require a lot of effort and uh, work that goes into it instead of just playing a video game. Like my other channel is basically nothing but videos like that but for World of Warcraft. So I've been working on this one video though that's like an interactive video. It has like a huge story. I've been working on it for months. So I've been working on that for the past couple days. So I haven't had really enough time to actually play a game. To play Yu-Gi-Oh! But I have had some games for when I did play it. So the video is going to be a little light this week. But I was still able to put out a video every day. So that wasn't too bad. But I haven't put out a video like more than once a day. Or if I go a day or two without a video. You'll know why. It's because I'm working on that one. Because that one's huge. But I don't think it'll be a problem. I'm just pretty much giving you a heads up. If you don't see a video, it's not because I've stopped, it's because I'm working on that other one, which is huge. It's really awesome, and I love making those kinds of videos because I really get to get my creative juices flowing. It's basically like a huge fan fiction, but for World of Warcraft. Alright, and that's it.